Hi Force Nation, it's your man Calculus the Engineer. Welcome to another exciting episode. And guys, this has to be one of our best episodes we've done thus far in terms of the content, the the length we went to, to gain access to this content for you guys so that uh, we expose you to the new ways of doing things in the construction industry, particularly in Kenya, East Africa region. And uh, it's, a, it's a very innovative, efficient and uh, just blows your mind how construction can be made easier in term, and also looking at the efficiency of doing things in general. So our case study is, um, is a project in Nairobi. It's called the Pangani Affordable Housing Project. It's being done by China Wui contractors. And uh, it is this project that you're going to use to cover this aluminium formwork system, taking a deep dive into its uh, its use in its application on site and everything about it. So this um, Pangani Affordable Housing Project, it constitutes eight blocks in total. And of these eight, eight blocks, they're all going to have 17 floors and a total of 1,562 units that have all been sold out. Yes, you heard me right. They have all been sold out, and the project not even done yet. And uh, this, they're going to be like central. They're going to be in a circular uh, orientation, and at the center, we're going to have a basketball court. I can't share the, the layout and the plan because of uh, confidentiality matters but uh, that's what you're going to expect once the project is done so we'll go through the system right away what you'll note is that um, when you're using this aluminium formwork system design coordination is key from the onset and the design coordination here from the consultants is important because the the once the design is complete it is uh, shared with the, the fabricator and the fabricator has to has to incorporate permanent ventilations in their formwork fabrication, such as for windows, doors, and that sort of thing. So it gives very minimal to non-existent changes on site because uh, the formwork will have been done and everything fits where it's supposed to. So the design coordination is very important from the from the concept stage all the way to the fabrication of the formwork by the supplier. Uh, it, it is important to note that uh, the main supplier of this system, particularly in this part of the world and in this project, is Kumkang. And uh, there are other suppliers, but Kumkang is the main one. And you'll find even uh, on the socials, any videos you'll find concerning the system is them that have shared. So this system uses the wall and column system in that uh, the columns and walls precede everything else. And uh, it, the formwork uses a modular design in that it replicates itself on all the floors. So to the point that uh, the formwork can be marked by a particular code. And it is that code is going to move in the same place, same location of uh, the layout. And the elevation of the building as it goes all the way up so it it is important to note that it uses the modular system of design the saving factor is mainly on time when using aluminium formwork but it is also worth noting that uh, you'll be saving time but procurement is uh, quite pricey there's a high cost to be incurred and that's why it is advisable that when you're using aluminium formwork you're using it uh, on several on several buildings that uh, have the similar design so that uh, the initial cost makes sense in that you're going to save a lot of time in putting up these high-rise buildings that have a similar design so the reinforced concrete system for this uh, formwork can be optimized to achieve structural members with smaller sizes. We're looking at uh, slabs of uh, 100 millimeters or so. Also, you can be using less rebar 
in terms of both size and number and uh, the optimization is because of everything most most of the items most of the structural members and uh, parts of the building are reinforced concrete so there's a way of optimizing it especially if it is modeled in the in a good software and it is uh, it is advisable to model such high rise buildings in a software uh, such as uh, revit by autodesk because modeling helps in coordinating everything by this i mean there's the structural elements the architectural elements and uh, there's the mechanical and electrical mechanical electrical and plumbing and uh, that will help in minimizing conflicts and it is worth noting also that in this project um, the project manager has mentioned that was that was a problem because it was not modeled and that's why they had a bit of conflicts with, when it comes to the services in, provisions in the on the building so it is advisable that you model it in a good software to minimize such conflicts so when you're using aluminium formwork the walls have to be done before the slab and then but uh, concreting is done monolithically so you do the walls but the beams and the slab and everything will be concreted together because uh, you need the walls to support the slab on top it is uh, it is interesting to note that uh, reinforcement bars for the system for a particular floor can be done very fast and in this particular project they are doing it in a day then uh, the engineer inspects before concreting and uh, aluminium formwork erection itself the erection of the formwork also takes a day striking off once the formwork has been used i mean concreting is done after a day it is also struck off so it tells you how fast a building can come up in that uh, you're looking at doing the formwork in a day concreting after a day you're removing the the panels but uh, you're not going to remove the entire formwork support it is only the panels that are removed but the aluminium props because this system uses aluminium props that are special to it and those aluminium props remain in place for a minimum duration of 21 days just like other suspended concrete elements mm, until at at 21 days you're looking at about 75 percent strength uh it's only at 28 days that you're looking at about 99 to 100 percent gain in strength uh, I mean, the, the elements would have achieved 99 to 100% strength. But uh, with this system, the aluminium props have to remain in place for 21 days. It, only, it is only the, the panels can be removed after 24 hours, which is uh, fairly fast. So with, that, with those kind of numbers, in this particular project, they were able to achieve five days per floor. So you're preparing a floor for concreting your concrete and after five days you're out and you're moving up to the next floor vertically to do the same that is uh, mind-blowing because usually take about minimum of three weeks which is um, 21 days to move from one floor to the other on uh, many of our projects here locally and in other areas of the world where such formwork efficiency is not uh, been realized yet so foundations for these buildings where we where they have used aluminium formwork this pangani this pangani affordable housing project uh, the foundations are done traditionally until ground floor level on this case study they adopted a route foundation for a, a building there's also a building that the building block that had pile foundation but uh, the rest of them had isolated pad footings that were all done traditionally until the ground level as earlier mentioned the typical pre-concreting checks are done using in the usual way for both uh, structural works mechanical electrical and plumbing and those have to be given a written sign off for the concreting to be done just to ensure everything is uh, right so these pre-concreting inspections are done before the panels are closed off for concreting so the engineers have to be on standby because everything is moving and every minute counts remember 
it's a day's thing uh, it's a it's a day long um, activity and uh, concreting has to be done fast so any hour that is lost significantly impacts the project because of the timelines uh, anticipated there are some holes for the screws used to hold the aluminum panels and um, these ones the holes can be visible after the formwork is struck struck off and uh, this are not this is not a cause for concern because they are easily filled up with plaster after striking off and they're barely visible once uh, that is done neatly so that should not be a cause of concern with this system concrete compaction is still done usually during concreting to avoid honeycombing and to ensure that um, consistency in terms of distribution of uh, the different components of of the concrete are, is uniform throughout the members so compaction is done typically during the concreting galvanized iron or gi pipes are what i use for service provisions for this system and uh, this have to be put in place earlier of course like i mentioned uh, the, during the pre-concreting inspections the services engineer that is mechanical electrical plumbing will check this and ensure everything is in place before the panels are closed off and concreting can occur that's pretty much it in terms of uh, the pricing per square meter and uh, all the particulars in terms of numbers we're going to cover that in the next video for aluminium formwork so that uh, we give you guys a, a cost breakdown and look at the cost benefit analysis of using this compared to the traditional when apart from time uh, just looking at costs procurement costs as a, as an item there's one key element I've, uh, I've not mentioned and that is that uh, this formwork has to be primed using oil and grease for easy striking off and you'll note even in the video footage and the images we shared uh, the oil is uh, sufficiently applied on the surface so that striking off is easy and uh, the panels can move to the successive floors without any challenges in striking off and um, ensuring that they're properly oiled that is part of the pre-concreting inspection that uh, and the engineer would uh, and the contractors personnel will uh, carry out to ensure everything is okay so guys that is uh the first part of our aluminium formwork uh, system that we want we promised to cover sometime in the past uh we get, get gaining access to this information was uh, an uphill task but uh, we ensure we did it because we had promised to cover this during the last technical thursday and we have so show your love guys by liking the videos sharing the videos commenting on the videos and of course subscribing it helps in uh, making the algorithm uh, favor the channel in terms of uh, getting the videos out there so that people who who might need to gain access to the information we we talk about here can do so and uh, of course get value out of it until next time keep grinding and growing.